The family of the woman believes that this was a drive-by shooting. They believe she also was possibly in the wrong place at the wrong time. She's a lovable person. I can't understand why she got on like this. It's not right. A grieving grandfather remembering Brianna McGowan. Police say the 27-year-old woman was gunned down Wednesday night in what her family believes was a drive-by shooting. People shooting at other folks, but you're killing other folks, innocent people. This has been going on in Jackson all year long now. And at some point in time, this has to end. Investigators say the deadly shooting happened on Curtis Street near the Queens neighborhood while McGowan and a friend sat in a parked car. She later died at the hospital in surgery of a gunshot wound to the chest. Why God keep hurting us? I him. Keep going through it over and over. It don't end. The McGowans say they lost a 35-year-old family member to COVID just last month. Six months ago, Brianna McGowan's 21-year-old cousin, Rakila Brown, was killed in what police call a domestic dispute at a South Jackson apartment complex. You can't blame God because God takes his people away, good people and bad people. But I don't know what else to say. This is one of my daughters here. I have four daughters, you know, a host of granddaughters. And to lose one at my age to see them leave before me, it's a hurting feeling. Now, police tell us the man who was inside that friend who was inside the car with McGowan, he was hit in the arm. He was also taken to the hospital. There was another woman driving nearby. She was struck by a stray bullet in the lower back. They are both expected to survive. And again, tonight, police are searching for that gunman and a motive to this deadly shooting. Live at JPD headquarters, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.